Hey guys, what is up? It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning September 11th through the 17th in my SPC edit by Print Pression Planner using my Caress Press 2023 inserts and this week I am using the kit called Appreciated from SPC as well as a lot, a lot of foil from Plana Hannah. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to hop into the spread. I did decide to use this kit this week to celebrate my husband's 27th birthday. I know this is a Father's Day kit, but luckily Andrea did include a fun little like birthday box add-on that I did include and lots of extra boxes. So it was so usable for another purpose, which I just appreciate. I feel like we should have that in more kits just so that more kits can be usable across different things. But I did make this into a birthday spread. My husband, Jake, is not a dad. Well, he's a dog dad, but he's not a real human dad. So I did nix literally every dog or not dog. <laughs> every dad box. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't talk today. And this is my second voiceover I'm doing. So it's just been a struggle, but I did in, um, not use any of the dad boxes and really honed in on like the football and the gaming and the stuff that I felt like reminded me of Jake because this was my birthday spread for him. So this kit came ba out back around Father's Day in June or maybe May. And I've been hoarding it since because I was like, this is such a good birthday kit for Jake. And so I bought navy plaid underlays from Plana Hannah as well as caramel football underlays from Plana Hannah. And those caramel football underlays were pretty much game changer. At that point, I was like, I gotta do caramel with this kit. Like, it's just so good. So Hannah recently had a foil bundle sale and I decided to pick up the football foil bundle because it did have exclusive washi. I think that was like pretty much it, but I'm really glad I did pick up the foil bundle because I got to see how usable they really are. I've really only used the SPC and Planet Hannah foil bundles. So I did not use the underlays that came in the foil bundle. Um, they were like the play, I don't know what they're called. The, maybe the, I don't know what they're called. The play marker, I don't know. But I want to use the underlays I had already purchased. And then I use, I love the bottom washi it came with, as well as just some of the other, other stuff like the overlays. And I did um, incorporate some custom quilt overlays as well in caramel to throw in for Jake's birthday. So yeah, I'm just loving how this is looking. I think it's so, so cute. We had a really, really fun week. We obviously watched lots of football because football just came back. Um, we went on a really nice date night on Tuesday um, to a place that Jake has been trying to take me for so long. He has made several reservations to nice restaurants that you have to literally pay to cancel. And I have canceled many times. So I was like, for your birthday, not only did I get you cute gifts, but I will also take you out on a nice date and not cancel. And guess what? I didn't cancel. So I consider that a win for me because I'm a canceling queen. And yeah, so we actually went out to a nice restaurant that he had been trying to take me to. Uh, but I actually ended up taking him to for his birthday and it was well, well worth it. It was so, so fun. So I'm really glad we ended up doing that. Um, and then what else on Friday, we went to the Maryland Terrapins game against University of Virginia, which was really, really fun. It was in person at University of Maryland College Park, which is where we went to college together way, way back when. <laughs> so that was really, really fun to be back in our old stomping grounds. It was such like, I, I just am reminiscing still because it's now a week later on how perfect the weather was how perfect the game was we came back and won and killed them um everything was just so perfect about that day so that was really really fun and then on saturday we celebrated rosh hashanah and we went to visit my father-in-law who 
um, literally has like a beach in Maryland, just like in his neighborhood. And we just take all of our swimming. And we had saw, we saw my mom the night before because she was taking care of Oliver while we were at the football game. And she had his shark life vest and was like insisting we take it with him swimming. And Jake was really for some reason hesitant and not wanting to. And I was like, just take it. Like we have a house now. We can take it. <laughs> if if because like she hoards everything for us. And we actually ended up trying it. So we went there and we went to the beach and he was doing his normal thing where he's like very nervous to go um, deeper in the water. And so we ended up putting on the life vest and it helped him gain so much confidence and he was swimming on his own and he was so cute. So it was just a really, really good experience. I was really excited that the life vest worked and he just feels so much more confident with it. And yeah, I'm just proud of my little swimmer. So yeah, it was a really, really fun week. Um, it was a great time celebrating Jake's birthday. And yeah, this is the base, which I think turned out so cute. I recently just uploaded a picture of a bunch of recent bases on my Instagram. So definitely go check that out at Laura Maria Plans to see that because I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I also did order custom scripts for this week on top of having the foil bundle and everything else. So I did throw in some of my custom scripts from Planet Hannah as well. So on the sidebar, I just marked happy birthday, Jake, and that we watched lots of football this week. And starting on Monday, we went on a little Target run. So I marked that and then I did bake Jake a cake. I actually didn't mark it, but the weekend before I had tried to make him these Funfetti Oreo brownies he recommended or he requested. I don't know why I keep saying the wrong words, but here I am. He requested and I tried to make them and they completely burned like so bad. I had to throw the pan away because they were literally rock hard stuck to the pan, even though I sprayed it. I don't even know what happened. And the worst part is they looked so good because they were brownies. You couldn't really tell that they were like super duper burnt. And so we both would like try and like bite some of it. And it was just like a no go. Like they were not good brownies. So I ended up making him a cake that he also requested, which was a cinnamon toast crunch cake with cinnamon toast crunch cinna frosting or something. And it was really, really good. So I made that for his birthday this day and we both really liked it. It was such a good cake. If you see the cinnamon toast crunch cake, get it, get it with the icing because the icing like makes it. I'm not that big on icing, but it was so and then we just watched Monday Night Football. And then I had been like dying to give Jake his gifts for so long. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, because they weren't like that good. I ended up giving him his really good gifts um like the Friday before this, but um his favorite gift he said I got him was this custom lore shirt that I got on Etsy that's like a vintage shirt with a bunch of pictures of me. He's obsessed with it. I really want to get one for me with Oliver and pictures of Oliver. But because it was around Jake's birthday, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I got him one? Turns out the shirt's amazing quality. It's so comfy. It's so cute on him. And like, I kind of want to make him more now because it's like a whole vibe. But I'm so into it. He's worn it a lot. I've posted it on my Instagram, on my personal Instagram, if you guys have seen. But that was his favorite gift. I had given that to him the previous Friday, but I just gave him the rest of his gifts this day. And then I watched 90 Day Fiance and just ended the night by cuddling Jake. On Tuesday, it was Jake's birthday, so I marked it. I don't really know why I used a me sticker for it. I was like definitely searching for a Jake sticker. <laughs> But I saw this sticker and I was like, that would go perfectly with the square box. So there I am celebrating Jake's birthday. But I mean, you know, it's Jake's birthday. I, I don't feel like I need to like put him in for a millionth time. Um, So I marked it that it was his birthday. I just hung out with him all day. Basically, I didn't really work this day. um, So I just hung out with him and spent the day with him. And then we did go on a date night. Um, like I said, we have been trying to go to this place, Lardente in Washington, DC. It's like Italian fine dining. It was so, so good. We got a 49 layer, layer lasagna with like short rib or something and a Parmesan 
like veal parmesan instead of chicken parm it was veal parmesan and those together were really good we also got like appetizers we got a really really good dessert it was a really good experience we had a lot of fun we definitely go back there again and it's really funny because it opened I probably shouldn't say this because I don't know if people know DC but it opened literally right next to where we used to have an apartment so we we where we lived in DC so it's just funny how they opened all these fine dining restaurants in what used to be just dead office space and now it's like all these really bumping popping restaurants um so we're like back in our old stomping grounds so yeah then we got boba after um because I wanted another sweet treat apparently and then we had a little game night so I just marked that I had a game night with him I think we played a new game called priorities which I had got him which I got him for his birthday I got him priorities for his birthday as well as the like dim sum go sushi game and they're both really really fun Jake prefers priorities but I like them both I think they're both very different on Wednesday, I had work, so I marched that. I walked Ollie. I walk Ollie every day, so you know it's a you know it's a dead day when I mark walking Ollie. But also, I may have taken him on a longer walk because I've been trying to do that lately, like do really long walks. So that could also be it. And then we went to Lote this day, which is like more my speed, more of what I was used to because it's more Chinese versus H Mart is like more Korean, but love them both lote is also right near us so we went there um i watched big brother this day i filmed some youtube videos i had a mental breakdown i don't know why i had a mental breakdown but apparently i had a mental breakdown so i marked that and then i just cuddled jake some more lots of cuddling jake this week on thursday i had a meeting i got chick-fil-a for lunch I don't know why I've been in like a Chick-fil-A kick lately. Like I'm definitely not pro Chick-fil-A, but like, I mean, it's good food. I'm going to eat it, but I don't know why I've been in a little Chick-fil-A kick lately. I usually am not really into it, but lately I've been into it. It's also super fast and easy compared to where we live. So it's just like an easy thing to order and have, and it just comes really quick. So um, I did do a bunch of work this day, so I marked that. I had a call with my mom, watched some Thursday night football, and I also ended the night by planning. So I marked all that on Friday. This was a very, very busy day, my only extender for this week. Um, so first we dropped Ollie off at my parents' house. and Well, Jake did it technically. I was getting ready at our house so Jake went and dropped Ollie off at my parents house and um I got ready I, I marked that I have the day off because I don't really have get glam stickers I actually need to mark that I need that from my next customs order um literally writing that right now I have my custom scripts that I want from plan with me stickers you can use my code laura15 to save and get my freebie or mention me if there's a sale going on and you'll still get my freebie but um yeah so i got ready and then we went to college park which is where university of maryland is and it's changed so much since we've gone there so it's always just like a shock like i was shook that there were kids scootering around campus. That was like, I'm still shook by it. I know scooters exist. I scootered everywhere when I lived in DC. Like I'm a scootering queen, but like putting scooters on the college campus, like, yeah, it makes perfect sense. I was just like so mind blown because that just did not exist when I went in college. And like, I would not have been in good shape. Let me tell you that because the minute I start, I stopped being in good shape was when scooters came into my life. And I was in great shape in college because there weren't scooters and I was walking a mile in between classes. So I was just so mind blown. There were scooters and just like the college kids are just so young now. I'm like, how am I so old? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and then we went to one of our favorite bars called Looney's. They had a new menu. They have such good drinks there. I got this like strawberry lemonade thing, but I usually get just an orange crush, which is like Maryland's go-to drink. Um, but 
we also they had a new menu and they had these amazing crab nachos which i've been thinking they've been needing forever because they have this great crab dip it's a maryland restaurant so we're talking maryland but it's usually served with like just like bread or like regular tortilla chips but they made this new thing on their menu called crab nachos and it's like cheesy nachos and you can dip it in the crab and it's so good so that like I don't even know what I originally ordered I originally ordered something else and I was like this ain't hitting it and I saw the table next to us order that and I was like yeah I'm getting that I didn't even see it on the menu so I was just so excited for that and then we did go to the football game at the stadium um it was really funny because one of the girls actually the favorite my favorite person I ever babysat in my whole life or work or any kid I've worked with she is now in college and I've worked with so many kids. So that's quite a statement. And she knows she's my favorite, but she's in college now at Maryland. And so I met up with her and it was just so mind blowing that last time I saw her, she was literally in elementary school, but we stayed in touch. And like, it's just so crazy. And like, she also thinks I'm like the coolest person in the world. Like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to brag, but like, she thinks I'm cool. Like she literally sat with us the whole game and like, I was like, just like really confused because I was like, would I think a 27 year old married woman alumni, college alumni was cool at that age? I must have. But like, I just think it's funny because I'm like, I'm not cool. <laughs> but she like wanted to hang out with me the whole game. She like took pictures of me. It was just really, really funny. And like, I was here for it. Okay. Um, and then we went up to the suite level at one point because one of my father-in-law's really good friends, like basically has a suite there. So we got to watch the game at the suite. We got all the free food and drinks and we got like the best views and it was really, really cool. Um, didn't love the people in the suite, but other than that, it was a really cool experience. So I definitely wanted to mark that. And then I marked that I was reunited with Mochi because we went to go pick up Ollie after. So I marked that I was reunited with her. And then I just hung out with Oliver. I was so happy to see him. I missed him because I didn't see him the whole day. And like, I literally haven't done that since like I went to Thailand and my parents reported that he was like missing us the whole time. So I just felt really bad. And then I did just mark that my brother-in-law also slept over this night. On Saturday, we got up and went to Starbucks and then we went to my in-laws house um, and like everyone was there and we decided to take the dog while well, Oliver swimming. My father-in-law also has a dog, but she didn't really like the water at all. And then she's not really friendly with other dogs except Ollie. But then there were other dogs there that came. So she had to leave, but Ollie had a blast. Literally, the other dog that was there was a husky beagle. It was such a cute mix. Um, and they were like, we have to get our dog a shark life vest now because your dog is doing so well with it. I was like, LOL, it's actually our first ever time using this life vest, but it's going swimmingly. So I'll take it. Um, and then we celebrated Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. My husband is Jewish-ish. We say Jew-ish. Um, we basically celebrate the high holidays. We don't really go to like synagogue or anything as of right now like he used to go and he went to hebrew school and like got bar mitzvah and everything um but yeah so we celebrated rosh hashanah jake actually grilled for everyone so i that just marked that with a cooking sticker because i was helping him and then afterwards we left their house and we went and got brewster's ice cream which is so good and we got ollie some and it was just really really fun i love brewster's they have the best waffle cones if you've ever been to brewster's and then I just had a little YouTube binge at night. So I marked that on Sunday. I cuddled Jake in the morning. So I marked that. And then I just spent the day watching football. Um, and then we did have this whole fiasco happen with our bed where it basically broke. We've had a lot of things break because of our hardwood, hardwood. I'm not really sure, but we had to buy a ginormous rug, which if you don't know, rugs are very expensive. So we had been putting off buying a rug for our bedroom. Our whole house is hardwood, by the way, like literally nothing is carpet, which is kind of annoying, but 
we had to buy, it's not annoying. It's just like carpets are really expensive. So we had to buy a carpet and we finally bought one. And then like while we were trying to put the carpet under our king bed, which is a mission and a half, if you ask me, our bed broke. So we had been sleeping on a mattress on the floor and I was thriving on that, but we ended up buying a new king size bed and we had to build it this day and like put the carpet under and it was a whole feat, but we got it done and now our bedroom is complete. We just need a little bit more artwork and stuff, but, and we need to mount our TV, which we're doing tomorrow, but love that for us. Um, so we built our new bed and then I just watched Sunday night football. I cuddled Oliver and I finished the night off by watching YouTube. What a surprise. So that is how the spread is coming out in full. I'm not exactly sure when I'm uploading this video, but depending on when it is live, I have a very new exciting announcements about some new PR teams I'm joining and I don't want to spoil it in case I upload this video early because it's still September now and I know it's not getting announced till October. And I just don't want to spoil it, but definitely check the description and check my Instagram um, and follow me on there to stay up to date with my news. But you can check out my Instagram description. Oh, not Instagram. What am I saying? YouTube description um, just by expanding it and seeing my PR codes there. I don't want to accidentally spill news. I'm not supposed to, but definitely follow me on my planner Instagram. I'm pretty sure the news is already live when this video is going up, but it's not right now when I'm filming this. And I don't know when I'm putting this video up right now. So I just don't want to jinx anything. Okay. So I hope you understand, but follow me on my Instagram because I have new exciting news coming if it hasn't come out yet and you can check it all out there. I did end up adding these little deco footballs from the foil bundle in like the corners, which I thought was really, really, really cute. Um, and I think this cake came out so, or this spread came out so nicely with the foil and just the football goodness. And I just think it's so cute. And I'm so excited I got to use this to celebrate Jake's birthday. And it would be so cute for literally like anyone's birthday, Father's Day, anything. It's just such cute vibes. So I'm very here for it. This is the spread in full. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye!